Hello and welcome to the behind the scenes of Day Shift. Uh, here I am at the Cock and Ball pub where we were lucky enough to be able to shoot most of the film. It was a really fun film to make but also a bit of a challenge so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy seeing how we made it. With an 18 page script in just a few weeks, Day Shift was really about the planning. Uh, we had three mornings to shoot in the pub, a uh, lot of people on screen, both day and night scenes to do, and just a ridiculous amount of shots to actually get. So the first thing I did was come up with a plan of what we would actually be filming, trying to figure out when, where, and with who things were actually going to be happening. So here I am at uh, the Cock and Bull pub, and I think this is the earliest I've ever been here because it is seven o'clock in the morning. The real challenge here was how much there was to do every morning before the pub actually opened and we had to leave. This single continuous take from the middle of the film, for example, even though it was definitely worth it, took us ten takes to get right. But despite the intense rhythm, things like Lloyd helping out with directing or Emil running around to get stuff for me, and just everyone being focused all day allowed us to finish on time and even get to improvise a little bit, which is really important for this kind of comedy. Okay, so I'm currently walking uh, to my brother Albert's place with all the equipment um, because we're going to shoot in his loo. Very exciting stuff indeed. There's Captain Crow Magnum Man there behind the bar. So then we were off to a flat to shoot the pub toilet scene. Uh, it was difficult for two reasons. First was that with so little time to prepare and rehearse, it was quite difficult to get it all in one single continuous take, which is what I was going for. And second, because of the actual space. Uh, getting the camera, the microphone, the lights, and the three actors into an actual toilet was an interesting experience. Everyone did a great job in the end, and then we quickly grabbed the video surveillance footage by simply shooting out the window uh, to the street below. It was such a funny scene to do, not only because of the content of the scene itself, but also because um, they were acting in a busy place. Uh, so everyone was staring at them as they were running around with no idea at all that I was actually upstairs filming them through the window. There we go, it's 6.20 on uh, Saturday morning. Thanks, Mark. Finally, we had to shoot the car scene. A quite simple shoot in theory, but the funny thing is we actually shot it on two separate days. Uh, we had to shoot the trio getting in the car on one evening and then shoot uh, the bartender, Mark, on a completely different day uh, in a completely different place and at six in the morning. And then it was on to editing the film. And as far as visual effects goes, even though we tried to keep things as real as possible, like using a torch for the police cars or the signs that we made for the pub, there were quite a lot of boring effects to do, like changing the time on the clock, deleting a boom pole or a light, or even matching teacups between two shots. And of course, adding the fake news reports onto the telly. But the most important thing in this film for me was the sound. Uh, as usual, I recorded and added in a ton of sound effects, uh, but it's really the music that gave the pub life for me. I was lucky to get some great music from Bucci Temple and Excalibur Motion Pictures, and the style just really fit and made it feel like a pub. But the fun thing is I was struggling with software to make the music sound like it was actually in the pub. And in the end, I just decided to play the music on my speakers in my flat and recorded it live, and it worked perfectly. What's the time? I just told you the time. We're leaving in 15 minutes. Ah, oh, spot on. Last but not least were the end credits. Uh, I really wanted to do something fun uh, that went with the spirit of the film. So my brother Albert and I spent an hour actually writing the credits on the pub board and taking pictures of them so I could animate them together later uh, to get the nice effect, which I feel really serves as a good ending to a fun film. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this behind the scenes look at Day Shift. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to contact me on Facebook or Twitter. And until then, uh, I'm off to work on the next film. And I can't wait to show you.